Oh my, more watching me run around and do um, interesting things? I do not know. It does not matter, no one cares. As long as we slash people in the face with short swords, it is all that we need in life. So there's one thing I have to say that is often, that's really baffled me about Castlevania games. Stop it. Um, oh, I just got a fist. Um, I don't know what this does. The, um, how it is that swords or whips can extinguish flames like this. Also why hearts are ammunition, I don't understand. Um, I suppose it doesn't matter. There's always going to be things in life that you just uh, cannot comprehend. And Wow, you know what? These um, these secondary weapons are a bit of a pain. Um because they, they, you act, you launch them by pressing up and your attack button, but sometimes I find myself just pressing up anyway because I'm jumping or something, and I've got to learn not to, not to do that. That's going to be a problem for me, I think. Um, yeah, my apologies. I'm in full-on wander mode now because when I did play this game, I, I managed to before I managed to get to a couple more useful places than what I've shown you already. I have no idea how I got there because <laughs> it was just through random wandering, and I hope that means it's because largely uh, this game is more linear than it seems to look at first. At least the first couple of areas are. It's a CD right there up at the top middle. I wonder if that means this is a loading screen. No, oh, whatever. What is this? Marble gallery. Oh, I think I remember this. Um, do I? Should I? Oh, the music's awesome. Ah! Ah! I can never complain about the jumping action here. Getting to dodge enemy projectiles. This is actually pretty good. Whoa! Overly dramatic death animation! Whoa. So apparently I'm supposed to hit walls. And um, in retrospect, when I looked at one of my prior videos for a uh, corridor I'd passed through, it looks like there was an empty chamber behind a wall, but I did not know that walls were destructible. So, oh cool! <laughs> I can cancel out an axe with my sword! <laughs> Boy, I am badass! That's what you get for being the son of Dracula, I guess. Oh, and I wanted to mention, too, um, so apparently there's some really lame, horrible story twist that comes along from, um, that's supposed to be hinted at by the fact that Alucard is Dracula spelled backwards. I do not know what this twist is exactly. I'm tempted to think that it means, like, Alucard is Dracula, but just a younger version of him that lost his memory or something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna ask people not to spoil this, um, although I suppose it doesn't matter, because even if I say that, people will spoil it anyway in the YouTube comments, and I've just gotta learn how not to take those YouTube comments at face value. In honesty, um, I'm probably not really going to read them at all. I mean, no offense to anybody, and- OH SHIT, I'M BEING ATTACKED BY FURNITURE! Ah, <laughs> FURNITURE! Um, I mean, I mean no offense to anybody about that, but people will spoil stuff, and I definitely do need to leave the option of uh, option of commentary open to people, but I probably won't be reading them all right until, at least until I'm sure that what has to be said there would no longer be relevant, because I, I, you know, I don't want to be spoiled on things like this. This must be blind, otherwise the entire uh, being attacked by furniture value of this replay or let's play would just be, you know, be entirely forfeit, so... Um, yes, I'm not certain where I'm supposed to be going here, so I suppose I'll just be exploring areas, slashing open stuff. I like these daggers. This is a nice, straightforward, long-range weapon. Ooh, little midget guy. Ah. There we go. Just jump into my blade. Jump into my blade. Come on. There we go. You see, this is really pretty good when you get the timing of it down. What's over here? Wait a moment. Oh, God. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? Wow, she got hot. Look at her. I've come to destroy this castle. <laughs> then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Um, Alucard. No. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Oh, I thought she was running forward to embrace me there. So apparently that was the older version of the girl who came to save, save Richter earlier in the game. Why did this statue just come out? Does that have some meaning? I guess not. I'm going to ignore it for now. Alright, onward. Well, that's, that's a highly detailed walking sprite there. That's a lot of frames just for the act of walking. You can tell there's, there's quite a bit of work that actually went into the sprite work of this game. And it uh, did take advantage of the PlayStation's underutilized um, 2D abilities, because for you know it was a fifth-generation console. And because of that, it could done it could do some really awesome sprite work that never nobody ever really took advantage of it. Because like I mentioned before, the gimmick was 3D, and 3D was basically a marketing buzzword. And if you if it wasn't 3D, then it wouldn't sell. It's weird because these days, especially in in PC titles, um, indie games and such that seem to just you know utterly bloat Steam and other online distribution mediums. 
Um, you know, 3D is no longer the gimmick, but being not corporate trash is the gimmick. You know, being independently developed has almost become synonymous with quality these days, which is retarded. I mean, a game can be made by an individual and still stuck as much as a game that's made by a company. And I've seen personal proof of that. Anyway. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of hearts here. I may as well use some of them. What is this? Oh, this it's a time stopper. Okay, I don't really want that. I don't care. It doesn't feel right if I'm not uh, engaging these pe peeps in real time. I have to say, it is, it is kind of fun to go around slashing torches and lamps and everything on the walls. Um... Alright, so we got ranching paths. Where does this take us? Ah! You suck, you suck, you suck. There we go. I want to do something meaningful. I want to live a happy life full of people who love me. Hmm. Or just slash apart skeletons. I'm sure I can live for one or the other. You know, you have to be able to trade off here because, you know... Oh, this is a magically sealed... Okay, so I guess I can't go that way. That would be my assumption. If I were playing La Mulana, then of course I could go that way, but only if I manage to come in when the when the wind is going south south we uh, south south west at 40 miles per hour on alternate Tuesdays when there's elephant elephants in my living room. You know, this game I don't think is going to be anywhere near that obscure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let's see. Can I? No, I guess I can't just attack any walls at random. Yeah, it's not happening that way. Okay, whatever. I do like these knives because I think you're getting. I'm getting one projectile per heart. Yeah, I'm getting. I am. So I got a lot of these knives I can throw. And they seem to do a fair bit of damage, so the long rangedness of them is uh, is useful, is uh, necessarily effectual. Boom. Die, 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 die. Uh, <laughs> for what looks like a. Whoa, god, flame everywhere. For what looks like a mid boss character, that was actually pretty easy. Just spam it to death with your secondary weapon, I guess. And I can afford to do that because we got some heart drops here. Level up! I'm a badass! Woohoo! Yeah. Did I leave anything back there? No? Okay. Uh, na, na, na. This is really cool music. I like music of this game. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. There we go. Man, these daggers win the game. I like these things. I'm sure there's other weapons here that may prove to be more effective, but these daggers have been the most, uh, uh, most effectual of all the secondary weapons I've yet encountered. Oh, hi. Uh, Venus flight trap plant something? Okay. Hmm. Can I attack? Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, shit! Can I, out? Can I break out? Can I break out? Can I break out? Can I break out? Yes, okay. Ooh, scary. I was kind of terrified there where it'd be like uh, maybe the stone status in God of War or many RPGs where if you're, you know, stone status, it's effectively death. Um, can I get any opportunity to attack here? Um, this is not working. I am being bested by computer technology! There we go. I'm almost dead, but it was worth it because I got to kill a Venus flytrap or whatever the hell that thing was. Alright, anyway. Charging on Richard. So I guess there's no way to restore my health except for save points? That's a bit concerning. Break out, break out, break out, break out. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, shit. I'm not hip to this. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. What is this? A meal ticket? What does that do? Can I equip it? Food mystery food ticket used. Okay, you know what? Let's let's give it a shot. We've got nothing to waste but eight minutes of gameplay. Frank Furter. All right. <laughs> what did that do? Local favorite use. Okay, let's try it. Oh. <laughs> That was the most indirect roundabout healing solution I've ever seen. <laughs> That's okay. No, I want to keep. I want to keep the knives. I think. I think I like that better than the axe. It's still not as good as being able to attack upwards, but it doesn't seem like that's necessary most of the time in this game. Oh, faux shizzle, faux shame. I am running out of time. Ooh, we found a new area. At least the outer wall. Outer a zircon. I got a zircon. Okay, what does this do? Is this a relic? Doesn't look like it. Okie dokie, Smokey. Um, uh, let's go up. Up is always better than down. And I'm almost out of time, too, aren't I? That's just super wonderful and awesome. Um, is there a save point over here? Let's hope there's a save point over here. No. I don't want to fight dudes. And this game does not make itself conducive. Oh, I can't go anywhere else, can I? I have to go this way. Okay. This game does not make itself conducive to time restraints. 
Alright, well my apologies. I guess we'll get to see me fight these dudes in the next video since I don't have the time for it now. Thank you for watching, I love you all!